All right, so today we're covering the Gen 4 Prius Off-Road HD rear lift spring installation process. This particular customer had a rear hitch installed and wanted to upgrade to our rear HD lift springs in order to help combat the sag that our Priuses typically experience when carrying additional weight. Um, our particular HD rear lift springs are geared for about 200 pounds maximum tongue weight. This is going to be something like two e-bikes and a bike carrier or a cargo rack filled with camping and cooking supplies uh, and geared to try and keep the Prius sitting level while doing that. So you're going to want to start by jacking up the back of the Prius and supporting it with jack stands and then removing your rear wheels from the vehicle. Next you want to place your jack as far towards the outermost end of the lower control arm without being beneath the steering knuckle and raise it up until it just begins to lift off the jack stand. Then go ahead and grab your 14mm socket and your 17mm wrench and remove the bolt and nut. Then go ahead and lower it down. Then you're going to go ahead and press down on the lower control arm and remove the factory rear spring. This particular customer had our rear spacers and back, so we're going to go ahead and remove that rear spacer and then place the rubber isolator back in. Next, you'll want to remove the top rubber isolator from the factory spring and place it on the new HD rear lift spring. Then you can go ahead and place the bottom of the spring into the lower control arm, pressing down on the lower control arm, and get it to sandwich between the body and the lower control arm. When you do this, you're going to want to make sure that the Prius off-road logo is facing right side up and legible, as well as facing towards the outside of the vehicle. Then you can go ahead and place your jack back beneath the lower control arm and raise this up. One thing I like to do when jacking this up is move the jack side to side as well as front to back to make sure that it lines up. If you're on smooth concrete, it's easy enough to roll back and forth side to side, but if you're on something like a coarse gravelly asphalt or something along those lines, it becomes a little bit more difficult. Then you can go ahead and reinstall your 14mm bolt and 17mm nut. These are going to get torqued to 54 foot-pounds. Then you can go ahead and lower the jack down and move on to your next side. You're going to repeat the exact same process on this side as you did on the other side. Go ahead and start by jacking up the lower control arm. Then go ahead and remove your 14mm bolt and 17mm nut. Once you've got this removed, you can go ahead and lower down your lower control arm. Then go ahead and remove your factory rear spring and spacer if there is one in there. Then go ahead and reinstall the rubber isolator. Then go ahead and grab your HD rear spring and reinstall your upper rubber isolator. Then go ahead and put the bottom of the spring into the lower control arm, pressing down on the lower control arm, and sandwich this between the body. Once again, make sure that the rear spring is properly centered as well as facing the right direction. The logo should be orientated where it's legible right side up and facing towards the outside of the vehicle. Then go ahead and raise up your lower control arm, moving it side to side, front to back, so that the knuckle lines up with the lower control arm. Then reinstall your 14mm bolt and 17mm nut, and torque these to 54 foot-pounds. Then go ahead and lower your jack back down, making sure to inspect your work. Then go ahead and reinstall your wheels and tires. When you install your lug nuts, go ahead and do it in a star pattern, and torque these to 76 foot-pounds. Then go ahead and raise your vehicle back up, remove the jack stands, and lower it back down. And you're done.